Welcome to College Smart Radio, helping you bring into focus the true cost of college and how to tackle the runaway costs of financing a college education. College Smart Radio is hosted by Beatrice Schultz, a certified financial planner and co-founder of Westface College Planning. Now, here's your host for College Smart Radio, Beatrice Schultz. Hi, I'm Beatrice Schultz. Welcome to our weekly show, College Smart Radio, where we help you tackle the runaway costs of a college education. Our show is all about bringing up-to-date and practical advice to parents who are dealing with the cost of college education for their kids. With a private school costing up to $60,000 a year, a UC costing close to $35,000 a year, and a California State University running $25,000, parents need more help than ever. We bring you that help by sharing ways to pay less, tapping into financial aid, and prioritizing your source of funds to make sure you get through the most expensive years of your life. Based on my own education and experience, I share my insights with you week in and week out. I hold a Bachelor of Science degree in Chemical Engineering and a Master's degree in International Business. I am a certified financial planner and the owner of the San Carlos-based college planning business, West Face College Planning. I host workshops on college planning and consult with parents on a daily basis. In addition to my insights, I bring in experts in many areas of the college process, from counselors, financial aid officers, student coaches, parents, and even students. You'll learn firsthand the ins and outs of how to pay for college and survive financially. In addition to our show, you can find lots of powerful information at our website, www.collegesmartradio.com. We have many articles that I've authored with up-to-date information on navigating the waters of paying for the runaway cost of college. We have a monthly e-newsletter full of content about college planning. We also have posted a glossary of key terms used in the world of college planning. Terms like total cost of attendance, FAFSA, CSS profile, student assets, base year, appeal letters, and so forth. And we have a link to our free community parent workshops that we host in San Carlos to teach parents about how to pay for college and how the financial aid system really works. So let's get into today's show. Today's program topic is cost of attendance, real numbers from the front line. On today's show, we'll review the concept of the cost of attendance for college, remind ourselves of the key components, then spend most of the program discussing real numbers from the front line with today's guest. Our guest today is a recent University of Nevada Reno College graduate. She's joining us to give us a student's perspective on the cost of college living. Let's start with what goes into the total cost of attendance of a college. Let's break it down. The components that are included in the cost of attendance are tuition and fees. That's the money you pay a college for academic instruction and use of their facilities. Books and other school supplies, such as lab materials and other class-specific items. Cost of room and board, plus miscellaneous expenses, such as transportation, travel, entertainment, and so forth. So in total, we have cost of attendance for one year. This is an important term because of what it includes and the fact that the financial aid system uses this term extensively. On my show, we're going to use many college-specific terms, such as the cost of attendance. And to help you with all these terms, we have a glossary of common college terms and useful links available under the Resources tab on our www.collegesmartradio.com website. Okay, let's compare the cost of attendance at different types of colleges. How does the cost of attendance compare to community college, California State University, UC, or a private college? Let's start with the community college. Did you know there are 112 community colleges in California and 2.9 million students attending community college? California has the largest college system in the world. The total cost of attendance at a community college in the Bay Area, such as Kenyatta College, a community college in Woodside, is about $17,000 a year. Some of you are thinking, wow, that seems a little steep. Well, let's break it down. Tuition and fees are $780 for a full year schedule. Expect to pay $1,600 for books and other class supplies for a full year. Room and board in the Bay Area is pretty expensive. Kenyatta estimates $11,000 a year. Now that's on the high end of the scale because housing is so expensive here in the Bay Area. Other schools in more affordable areas might estimate room and board to be eight to $1,000 a year, eight to $10,000 a year. 
Personal expenses at Kenyatta High School, Kenyatta College, are estimated at forty thousand dollars. Sorry, at four thousand dollars a year at Kenyatta. So, if we add up tuition, books, room and board, personal expenses, that brings us to that total cost of attendance of seventeen thousand dollars that I mentioned. Now, obviously, if you live in Woodside and your child lives at home and rides his bike to school every day, his cost of attendance will not be seventeen thousand dollars, but more like four thousand or five thousand dollars. But many students do travel away from home to attend community college, in which case the room and board is by far the largest component of the cost of attendance. How about California state universities? In California, there's 23 CSU campuses with over 430,000 students attending CSUs. Majority of students are in CSUs or community college. The biggest difference between the cost of attendance at a CSU versus a community college is the tuition. The California State University tuition is closer to $7,000 a year compared to $800 a year for community college. So once again, we add up all the components to get the overall cost of attendance. So for example, the cost of attendance for Cal Poly is about $23,000 a year. San Jose State's about $21,000 a year. California State schools range from twenty dollars to $23,000 a year in cost of attendance. So at a CSU, room and board is also the biggest cost component in the total cost of attendance. California is only one of a few states where a room and board at state schools is above the tuition and other components in the cost of attendance because California is so expensive. So how about a UC? There are 10 UC campuses with over 230,000 students enrolled right now. According to the College Board, 10% of all college students nationwide are enrolled in colleges in California. So we've got a big percentage of the nationwide college students here in California. So how does a UC tuition compare to CSU? Well, UC, University of California tuition, is almost $14,000 a year, which explains that the cost of attendance with all its components for California UCs range from thirty dollars to $33,000 a year. Room and boards at UCs can be as high as $15,000, again, being the largest single component in the cost of attendance. Private college tuitions alone can range from $5,000 to as much as $50,000, bringing some some private total cost of attendance over $60,000 a year. At some UCs and private colleges, the room and board may not be the most expensive single component in the total cost of attendance, but like at community colleges and state colleges, room and board is one component that comes with choices that can be made to help manage the cost. While a college or university's tuition is a common talking point during the college search process, room and board is a really important factor that can cost a student thousands of dollars each year. To combat costs, some students choose to commute and live and travel from home, while others secure off-campus housing that can offer cheaper living arrangements. Many colleges and universities, though, do require that students live on campus for varied lengths of time before they become eligible for life off campus. While some students do, do choose to live in university housing for the convenience, room and board can be pricey. The average room and board fee across all sco- schools for the 2011-2012 academic year is about 9000 according to data reported by about a thousand schools in an annual survey to USS News. These are the rates a typical student would pay at each school. So the average is $9,000 a year for room and board. Although there may be lower or higher cost options at every school. In this study, schools were asked to report the cost for double occupancy and 19 meals per week, or a maximum meal plan. Still, this is a bargain compared to what the students pay for room and board at the 10 colleges with the highest room and board fees across the U.S., where the average annual cost of the top 10 is almost $15,000, which is nearly $6,000 more than the national average of $9,000. According to this U.S. News article, eight of the 10 schools with the most expensive room and board fees in the country are private schools. In fact, five of the 10 are private schools located in New York State. The other shocking, for some of us, fact in the survey is that the University of California, Berkeley, and the University of California, Santa Cruz are the only public schools that made the top 10 most expensive list, and UC Berkeley came in as the second highest room and board across the country, with room and board of $15,272 for the first year. UC Santa Cruz came in seventh at $14,727 per year, And these costs have been increasing by more than 5% a year. 
I have a link to that report in a U.S. News survey on my www.collegesmartradio.com website under resources, then useful links. So how do you combat or manage these expenses? My guest today will share with you how she did. Our guest today is Jordan Ellison, a college graduate from University of Nevada, Reno. She graduated in 2012 with a Bachelor of Science in Human Development and Family Studies. When Jordan attended UNR as a freshman, she qualified for a good neighbor tuition policy, which offered preferred Nevada tuition rates for students from neighboring California counties. Although that policy has been eliminated, UNR does participate in the Western Undergraduate Exchange, or WUI program, which offers qualified freshmen from California reduced tuition. A WUI student at UNR in 2012 will have a similar cost of attendance as UNR, at UNR as at a California State University of about $22,000 to $24,000 a year. During her four years at UNR, Jordan lived in four different places. She lived in the dorms first year in an off campus apartment with three roommates for her second year, then in two different roommate configurations in her sorority house for her final two years. I've invited Jordan on the show to share with us a little about her experience at UNR, including where she lived, where she spent money, and her cost-saving methods. You're with us on College Smart Radio, where my guest is going to be Jordan Ellison, a 2012 UNR graduate. Jordan is sharing with us some of her experiences with the different campus living options. We all know that college is expensive, and you will be most likely be some of the most costly years for a family. Understanding the cost of college and how to reduce expenses and navigate the financial aid system is a smart thing to know. To help families be on this radio show, I host a one-hour free community workshop at our West Face College planning facility in San Carlos several times a month that explain the cost of various colleges, how the financial aid system works, and things to consider to prepare yourself for this tremendous expense. You can find my workshop schedule on the collegesmartradio.com website. We'll be right back to introduce Jordan Ellison on College Smart Radio. For more information on today's topic, visit collegesmartradio.com or call area code 650-587-1517. College Smart Radio continues in moments on AM 1220 KDOW. Contact Beatrice Schultz at collegesmartradio.com or call area code 650-587-1517. 1517. Now, back to College Smart Radio with your host, Beatrice Schultz, on AM 1220 KDOW. Welcome back to College Smart Radio, where we help you tackle the runaway costs of college. I'm Beatrice Schultz. I'm just about to introduce Jordan Ellison, a recent UNR graduate who is sharing with us her insights into the ins and outs of different campus living options. Hi, Jordan. Welcome to the show. Hello, thanks for having me on the air. I'm excited to be here, and I look forward to sharing what I can to hopefully help parents better understand the ins and outs of different campus living options. Great. Well, first, let's talk about the cost of room and board at UNR. What is the cost of living at the dorms, and what are the various meal options you can buy? Currently, the cost of the dorms for a year range from $4,700 to $6,200 a year. The costs were a little less four years ago when I was a college freshman, but I chose the cheapest option, which was a two-person room with a shared bathroom down the hall. The most expensive option is a single room with your own bathroom in the newest dorms. Today, some of the dorm rooms have three beds to a room, and pretty much all they did is add a third bed to the two-person room, so that option should be the cheapest. Okay. Now, what do they offer for food plans, and what do, do they cost? Well, when I was deciding what meal plan was right for me, I had no idea what meal plan to choose. So I ended up choosing the platinum plan, which was pretty much the most expensive plan. It was three meals a day, seven days a week. And in my head, I'm thinking, well, I eat three meals a day, so that's perfect to me. So today, the meal plans range from $3,000 to $4,500 a year. Um, Once I started school, I was the only person there with the platinum plan. Um, And I definitely found that I never ate three meals a day down at the cafeteria. You end up eating cereal in your room for breakfast or a sandwich out on the go for lunch when you're on campus. So I definitely wish I would have known before that that was too much of a meal plan for me at the time. So how did the UNR meal plans work? Did did you have choices? How did it work? How How did you actually get your food? So the way the UNR meal plan works is that there's two components. There's swipes and food bucks. Swipes is like a credit card that you swipe every time you enter the cafeteria. 